Living every day 24-7 with limb girdle muscular dystrophy is tiring. The progression of the disease, it's very unpredictable. I have weak back muscles, so getting up like after I bend down can be a challenge. I drive around and then like I get out of my car, I have to like, you know, hold on or just, you know, use whatever strength I have in my legs to get up. My name is Shayna. I'm 33 years old. I live with my parents, my husband, my two-year-old daughter. I'm Ashley, I'm 31 years old. I live in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. My name is Chris and I'm 18 years old. I live in New Jersey. I was diagnosed with LGMD when I was 10 years old. It's been about 23 years. I was diagnosed with Limb Girl when I was 14 years old. The symptoms started to like show as my age like went up and as like I started maturing and growing. When I was nine years old, I was diagnosed with limb girdle muscular dystrophy. I remember going to my ballet practice. I wasn't able to keep up with the girls. I just, I can't do this anymore. There was lots of tears because it was another thing that I had kind of lost. There could be times where I just rapidly deteriorate and then there could be times where it's relatively stable for a long time and they couldn't understand really why, but it was also relatively new for them doing all the research. And about 20 years after my initial diagnosis, genetic testing had somewhat advanced and that's when I was diagnosed with LGMD type 2C. To find out the subtype, I had a muscle biopsy done and I was diagnosed with limb girdle muscular dystrophy type 2D. It was kind of a sigh of relief because it doesn't affect the heart. And then last year when I was 31, I was able to do a free genetic testing and mouth swab and was actually found out to be diagnosed with limb girdle muscular dystrophy type 2C, not 2D. You know, I had accepted from nine until 31 that, okay, so this diagnosis, it affects my muscles in my arms and my legs. I can deal with that. But to now find out that my heart was affected, hearing those words, heart failure is not something you want to hear when you're 31 years old. We didn't want to accept it. There's no cure for it. There's no treatment for it. You don't want to accept it. You just want to go out and look for whatever hope you have. It's really changed my life. I'm way more insecure and like sometimes I'm just like embarrassed to go out. It makes me really like, depressed. I need help with everything. Turning on my computer, sitting up, putting on and off my clothing, going to the bathroom, eating. It's a lot of work just for me to keep my upper body upright. I can't get upstairs without my husband helping me, so I only go up to my room at night just to sleep, and then I spend the whole day downstairs. I can't drive. There's a ramp in the garage to get in and out of the house because I can't go up and down steps. I'm getting worse, and so now not only do I have to see a neuromuscular neurologist, I have to see a pulmonologist, a cardiologist, an endocrinologist. Every month I have at least a doctor's appointment of some sort that I'm having to take time off of work. I joked with my coworkers the other day, I said I would love to take a day off that didn't have to deal with my diagnosis. I hope that the medical community comes up with something to improve the lives of people with LGMD. As I'm waiting for the clinical and preclinical work for LGMD, it's my daughter that's keeping me motivated. You want a kick? Do I want a kick? I can kick. Can you kick for me? She's the reason that I haven't given up. I really want to have a family when I'm older, and I'm just really looking forward to the future and all the achievements that I'm going to accomplish even when I'm living with limb girdle muscular dystrophy. I'm just really excited, and I'm not going to let anything stop me. My hope for the future is that my husband and my daughter and I that will be able to you know, move out of my parents' house to have our own place. My goal is to be a normal mom. 
I remain hopeful because even if there isn't something for me in my lifetime, maybe there's something for somebody else who is younger than me so that they don't have to necessarily face the challenges that I've had to face.